See what you think, okay? And she, this is what she said. She said, he caressed the back of my neck with his sandpaper-like tongue. And I thought, well, I better shut that book right there. Yeah, because uh, yeah, he's got like a sandpaper-like tongue. And I think he could file anything down. So if anyone got any splinters on the wood, get Al Ryan here with his sandpaper-like tongue, and he could file it down. Yeah. And um, when, my, when I was younger, I used to like all that rap music. You know the rap music? And my granddad, he hated rap music. He used to say, Sean, you know, you do all that rap music, you know, you better, you know, you better practice your culture. And I said, granddad, you know, why can't we do the oldest music in the world, you know, and show people we can do that? And he goes, all right then. And he used to have a go at me, always wearing this hat with LA, LA on it. Yeah, with LA and ego. You never even been to Los Angeles, you know? And I said, Granddad, LA doesn't stand for Los Angeles, it stands for Love Aboriginals. So check this out. Here we go.
quick story because where my great grandmother comes from uh, is a place in Australia they call Cooktown. Has anyone ever heard of Cooktown here? Yes. And they call it Cooktown because they say Captain Cook discovered it but what actually happened as we all know Captain Cook hit the reef and crashed into the reef and we said hello there's a great barrier reef there you know and he didn't see the reef because he tried to come into the mouth of the river and they named that river after his boat when it crashed there and called the river the Endeavour, and uh, after his boat, the Endeavour. And uh, in the history book, it says that my people come out, and we were angry, we had spears and boomerangs, but it's not true, eh? Aboriginal people, we like to muck around and laugh and sing, waltzing me, supposed to sing Matilda too, eh? And we all came out laughing, and when we first saw Captain Cook, and it wasn't like as it was the first boat we'd seen, we'd seen heaps of boats, we'd seen the Dutch, the French, the Kazan, in fact, we even seen the love boat go by, yeah? <laughs> that Captain Stupid. <laughs> and when we, see, when we see Captain Cook hit the reef, our people came out laughing. That's why we were laughing. We were like this. Quick, come out here and have a look at this guy in the boat there trying to play that didgeridoo with his eyes. And Captain Cook was like this. <laughs> and my people said, you don't play with your eyes. Come over here, we'll teach you. And when Captain Cook heard the didgeridoo, he thought we were saying didgeridoo. In our language, we call it yiggy yiggy, but have a listen. on the footy show and, um, and um, so I'm going to tell you this next story. One time I did a show here many years ago in, um, in uh, Karatha, no yeah, Karatha and Roeburn and I was driving from Wickham to Karatha, I had to drive and my fan belt broke. I'm not a huge fan of the fan belt but anyway the fan belt broke and I had to hitchhike and I was hitchhiking along. And I walk along the road, walk along, and I was wiping the sweat off my forehead, and I was hot too, you know, it was really hot, too hot in the hot tub, you know what I mean? And it's hot, and I'm wiping, then I seen a car coming, and a car just went straight by, you know, and I wiped the sweat off my forehead, kept walking along, another car went by, then I see another car, three cars went by, finally I seen a big truck, and I heard if you show a bit of leg, they will stop. <laughs> <laughs> and I learned that from him, yeah? Again, I showed up in the leg. Sure enough, that truck driver, when he seen that bony leg, he slowed right down. And he stopped. And the truck driver opened up the door and he said, where are you going? And I said, up the road. He said, well, get in. So I jumped in, closed the door, we drove off. And he even let me blow the horn of the truck. Not his horn, but the horn of the truck. <laughs> all right, I'm going to tell you that story all over again, but this time I'll play it through the didgeridoo. Have a listen. Thank you. 
story I went on a, a TV show on the footy show and um, on, on Channel 9 in Sydney and they said they rang me up and they said Sean Pilbara you're not from the Pilbara I said no but it rhymes with Pilbara and they said we want you to come on our footy show and can you uh, tell this kung fu joke that you've been telling around the comedy clubs and I said no worries and it started like this because a lot of people think Kung Fu come from China and Japan, eh? Everyone think, you think Kung Fu come from China and Japan? Lot of, yeah, see, he, he knows, it doesn't. Yeah, uh, yeah see, you think Kung Fu come from China? Yeah, see? See, a lot of people think Kung Fu come from China and Japan, but it's not true. Kung Fu started here. It started in Robe a long time ago. Two little boys were throwing boomerangs up. You know? And they catch on their leg behind their back. They're doing some fancy boomerang throwing. You had a dragon style, but they boomerang style. And while they were throwing their boomerangs around, there was an old man sitting about 20 meters away, sitting around a small campfire, cooking up some kangaroo tail uh, and also some couscous. And I think he had a, I think he had a, I think he had a neutral bullet there too because he had a healthy quality, yeah? And he's trying to boomerang. And the two little boys kept trying to boomerang. And the two little boys, they had like, uh, like traditional name, like a skin name, yeah? The one name was Jan, and the other one, Jackie. And one of the little boys threw his boomerang out up. I'm not sure which one it was, Jan or Jackie or Jackie, Jan, Jan, Jackie, Jan, Jan, Jackie, Jan, Jackie, Jan, Jackie, Jan, Jackie, Jan, Jackie, Jan, because the kids like rap. <laughs> and the wind changed direction. The wind blew the boomerang towards the old guy. Bang! Hit him in the back of the head, knocked him down. The old guy got a rub in his head like that. He reckoned, all right, which kung fu that? <laughs> <laughs> and that's where kung fu came from. I didn't swear, I just said kung fu. <laughs> so, just, just in case, you know, like that. Yeah. I think I should finish on that, bro. <laughs> Next time I come, I'm going to tell you a story about my mother-in-law uh, with the big, with the big, uh, with the big mole on her lip and, the, and, the, and the, all the hair coming out of her mole. And that's, that's another really beautiful story. It's touching. And, uh, yeah. and uh, it's a beautiful story. I'll tell that story next time and how she saved my kids and because of her the whiskers on her face. Yeah? And, uh, yeah, it's like a, a documentary I watched uh, about cats and how the cats... Cats have whiskers, and at the end of the whiskers, senses. You know, they can walk into a house, and they know the size of the room, how big it is, and all that. And we just moved to a new house. Just when we moved in there, there was a big electrical storm. The whole suburb, the, all the street was all blacked out. And I don't like the dark. I'm scared. That's why I don't look at mirrors. I'm dark. You know, I scare myself. <laughs> Sometimes I jump back, kiss myself. Anyway. And, <laughs> and I... And my kids were inside there, and they were scared, and I was, they were screaming out because they're in the house, and it's dark. Guess who saved the day? Not Batman, not Spider-Man, Superman. You guessed it, my mother-in-law. She flew in that house, too. She knew it exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she's, the she's the bathroom, and she come flying out with them kids, and I was thinking, just to think this mother-in-law was going to buy her a nail hair removal. <laughs> instead, I'm going to buy her a cape, because she's my hero. <laughs> That's a beautiful story, eh? Yeah. <laughs>
tomorrow night at um, Point Samson. Yeah. Has anyone got family there? Point Samson? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll be there doing a show. Yep. And um, next time I come here, I'll bring everyone a shirt. Okay, like I, I make shirts with Deadly on it and Gammon. And I'll get these all up and we'll do, you know, Gangnam style? But we'll do Gammon style. <laughs> all right? And we'll do Uptown Funk as well. <laughs> So it looks like, like that, like illusion, okay? So that's how you do your transfer. Right? So I'll do side moonwalks like that. Oh, look at that there. So I'll use my hat to, and then I'll do forward ones. The forward one goes like that, and I'll do it on the spot, and I can do a slow motion. Uh, <laughs> or, in a square, like that, and then I'll like pretend I'm playing basketball. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. And I put it through my leg, oh, yeah. And then I'll shoot like that, and I'll uh, bring it up. Nothing. Like everyone would like to have a try of that. Yeah. And other ladies there, okay? twerking. Has everyone seen that? What's that one? Twerking. Twerking. Okay, no. It's a really hard dance, but um, but to do it first, you have to warm up. Can everyone like um, like can everyone like grab their toe or just say toe after me? Okay, everyone say toe. 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 A bit louder. Everyone say say toe. 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 And then grab your knee. This is a really good exercise. This will make you like have a good six pack. So next time you're down on the beach, you can just have your shirt off, you know? <laughs> but it's a really easy exercise. So everyone can grab your toe, say toe. Toe. And then, and, and then grab your knee, say knee. Knee. And then and hit your belly and say ab. 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 And then and slap your butt. Like butt. 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 Yeah, so go. Toe. Toe. And knee. knee and ab. Ab. Butt. Butt. Ab. Toe. <laughs> knee. Ab. Butt. Toe. <laughs> knee. Ab. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know how I just smuggled that one. It must have been Buddy smuggled. <laughs> you should say the Prime Minister name then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to send that to the cabinet, yeah? yeah, yeah. Tony Abbott, yeah, look, you have fans. Tony Abbott. <laughs> Hopefully, next time I come, I can do a, another show and that. And, uh, then yeah. we'll have some music because I do a lot of music in my show as well, yeah. yeah. And um, I do country dancing, line dancing. Who likes line dancing? Yeah. 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 yeah? Who likes line? Just period. Yes, like yes, line. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So it's, it's like um, it's like dishonest dancing, really. Eh? It's like they should tell the truth that line dancing. You know? <laughs> they really got it from the bus stop from the eighties. Remember that the bus stop? Mm. Oh. All right. Anyway, next time I come, we will do line dancing and moonwalk. And gang them stuff. Okay. Yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> so thank you very much. Thank um, you. Do you want? Thank you very much. Yeah. Do you want Jumbo to play his boomerangs? Yes, please. Okay, I'll just crack them for you. Yes, I actually bought some boomerang off um off um Marshall the other day. I went out to um Minganatuno yesterday the other day and bought some off him. And he was telling him, yeah, some, some boomerang. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. You're going to sing a song from this area? Wow. That, I know that tree. That tree is snake tree. Yeah, Jambo, I'll tell you that. Marshall made these for him. Really? Didn't he? Marshall made you these boomerangs, Jumbo? 
I keep looking at the wrong father. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I keep looking at him and he's like, what are you looking at? shovel the coals. Yeah. It's that hot, I never felt anything like it. I was thinking, like I don't have plastic surgery, it would have melted it. <laughs> I, I, I found this for you guys. It's a DVD for you guys. It's a bit broken, it's a bit flat, um, because I was, um, the case, the cases are, are a bit broken. Um, I'm, I'm going to give you this DVD because I was meant to return it the other night and I got a late fee, so if you can <laughs> yeah, that'd be really good. So I've got this DVD here. And it's my comedy show. So it has, oh, it has yeah, it's a bit broken. Oh, see that just come out. And so it's um, but the DVD is still good. It's an old show. Yeah. Right. And, uh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. Save me watching on YouTube. I'm gonna race into uh, <laughs> Karatha now. Thank you, Uncle Ray. Hey, thank you. Jump up with that song. That was really great. Ninety-seven, eh? You can sing a song like that. My right, jingos, eh? Marjorie, hello, Marjorie. Yeah. yeah. Marjorie. Yeah. Yeah. Billy Pink. Billy Pink. Stop on. Hello, wait up. Sister. Sister. Oh, yeah, yeah, sister, yeah. Oh, Ivy? Yeah, Ivy. Yeah. Hey, hey. Dory. 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 Dorian, lovely to meet you, Dorian. Hope you enjoy it. Hey, my brother, yeah, how you going? Nice to meet you. Yeah, you're very lovely to meet you too, brother, yeah. Hello. So, Betty? I'm Betty. I'm Betty. You've got some mother-in-law jokes. Yeah, I know. You like that one, eh? This is Aunt. Steve? Hey, Aunt. How you going? Johnny Jennings? Johnny Jennings. Hey, Johnny, yeah. He went for his daughter, Sean Connery, yeah. Yeah, named after Sean Connery, and I went to Scotland and all. Yeah, you did. Yeah, <laughs> I went there, Scotland, Come and done shows there. And this is Penny. Penny, how are you, Penny? Hello, nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, Penny, yeah. Um, William? William. Yeah. Nice to meet you, William. Yeah, lovely to meet you. Maxie George. Hi, Hello. He's our resident Hi. artist. Maxie George. <laughs> nice to meet you. It's a pleasure, yeah. Yeah, hey, anyway. Good to meet you. Welcome, yeah. And Jeannie up there? Je Jean? Jeannie? She's Jean. from out of Panawanica. Panawanica. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look like her. Yeah. Might be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of music and then. That's right. Yeah, you're good, buddy. 